Hello, Mr. Silogar here with a quick video to show you how the Motions of the Sun simulator works. When you first log on to this website, the diagram over here is going to look too cluttered for what we're trying to accomplish today. I'm going to recommend that the first thing you do is to click the box where it says Show the Ecliptic to get rid of that. I would also recommend that you click to get rid of Show the Underside of the Celestial Sphere. This is going to simplify our diagram in the top left. The green is meant to represent your horizon line. The bluish gray color is the dome of the sky, as so though we view it as a dome above us on our horizon. We're going to pay specific attention to the yellow line, which represents the apparent path of the sun for this particular day in the box that tells us this is for May 27th. There are a lot of adjustments that we can make to our simulator. We can easily adjust the latitude by just dragging this box up or down, and that will adjust, and here it will show us what the latitude is. You can click up or down, but this will only adjust it by 0.1 degree at a time, which you may find to be too slow. Instead, what you could do is click inside the box, and for example, I could adjust this 42.5 degrees north, click outside, and it will adjust to it. You can easily adjust the date by either dragging the arrow across here through the calendar, and that will shift the date. Or if you want to pick a specific day, let's say you wanted to pick May 12th, you would just click into May, use the arrow up or down to, spe to specify the 12th of May. You can easily adjust the time by clicking in this box and adjusting it, or you can click on the the time hand on the clock this is the minute hand and drag it around and that will cause the sun to appear to move i'm going to set that back at the noon position which is where we're typically going to want to leave it and the reason why is because the noon position is going to show us when the sun is at the highest point for the day on most of these simulations on the bottom it's going to show us the altitude of the sun and at the noon position, when it's at the highest point for the day, this is telling me how high up in the sky off of the horizon the sun is located. In this case, 64.3 degrees off of the horizon. You can run an animation to show where the sun rises and sets. You may want to adjust the speed of the animation up or down. You can do that by dragging this over to speed up the animation or to pull it back to slow it down. I'm gonna move the sun around to the left. And what I want you to watch for is where the sun is going to appear to rise. In this case, it was in the Northeast, and then it is going to appear to set in the Northwest. Those are some of the features that we can use to learn a little bit more about the path of the sun. I hope that you found this video to be helpful.